And joining us again from the front lines of the war is Igor, a territorial defense soldier in the Ukrainian military. Igor, I know you have a question you want to ask Jake Sullivan. What would you like to know? Um, uh, yes, I have a very specific question for Mr. Sullivan. Is the U.S. government planning or considering launching the production of ammunition specially for Ukraine? I mean, uh, 155 caliber shells, 120 caliber mines, and of course, uh, HIMARS missiles. Do you consider this plan? And if your answer positive, could you please tell me uh, when are you going to realize this? Thank you. Well, first, Igor, before I answer the question, I just want to say that uh, as you stand out on the front lines tonight. You're defending the freedom of your country, but as President Biden said in Warsaw two nights ago, you're, friending, you're defending freedom everywhere. And so I want to say thank you for your bravery, your courage, and for the men and women who are fighting with you. Uh, we are grateful for all that you do, the sacrifices that you are making, and we can't even begin to imagine the difficulties and the trials that you've gone through. What we can do is everything in our power to get you the equipment and the ammunition that you need. And you mentioned 155 millimeter artillery shells, 120 millimeter uh, tank shells, and other systems like the HIMARS missiles that uh, you also just discussed. One of the things that we are working hard at at President Biden's direction is to increase the production of all of these types of ammunition here in the United States, but also in NATO countries so that the total supply of each of these different forms of ammunition grows month by month, and we can continue to move to the front lines, uh, this ammunition and the quantities that is necessary for you to be able to mount a successful defense and for you to be able to take back territory that has been occupied by Russia. This is not something we can do with the snap of a finger, but it's something that we are putting immense effort and resources into. And uh, Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin every month gathers 50 countries together in Europe in order to take stock of our progress. And every two weeks, President Biden authorizes a new package of ammunition to send to Ukraine. And we are trying to ramp up the numbers of that as rapidly as we possibly can, because we recognize that it is so central to your success in the fight. So we will continue to do all that we can do on this very specific issue, that it's not just about rhetoric or words, it's about actually delivering the goods, and that's what we're trying to do.